So welcome everybody to Open Telemetry Community Day 2024. We're going to start off with some brief housekeeping notes. Um, first, like all CNCF and LF events, you are bound by the code of conduct. Um, please hold yourself in professional standards. If you'd like to see the full code of conduct, you can find it on the event website. Uh, you can find the full schedule for today either on the event website or outside the room. There's a monitor that will be looping through it, but briefly, um, from 9 to 11, we have some sessions. We have a break from 11 to 11.20. We have more sessions, an hour for lunch, sessions, break, and then last little few sessions to wrap up at 4.30. So plan your day accordingly. We would not be able to do things like this without the uh, help of our sponsors. Um, Mesmo and Observer IQ are outside, so go, go say hi. Also, thank you to Grafana Labs, Microsoft, and OpenSearch for supporting Hotel Community Day. Mm, excuse me. Finally, if you'd like to post about um, the talks or anything going on, um, we'd like you to use the hashtag Hotel Day or open telemetry on all our social media. LinkedIn, Blue Sky, Mastodon, Twitter, X, formerly known as Twitter. <clears throat> so, with that, with that out of the way, let's talk briefly about the state of open telemetry in June of 2024 and what a state it is. Um, <clears throat> I went and looked at the contribution chart, and I've got a little call out there. So there in the middle, that was when we did the last one of these. It was 2022 in Austin, Texas. And we had you know about just over 16,000 contributions um, a month. We had around you know, eight, 700, 800 developers, I want to say, contributing monthly. And then you can see on the right, you know, we're up to over 25,000 contributions a month across all repos in the org with uh, around 1,200 unique developers. So we haven't doubled, but that's a pretty good growth for two years. Who, who here, just by show of hands, like who here, this is your like first hotel community day, first hotel community event? Okay. Who here was at the last Hotel Community Day? All right. I can, well, you all will agree, there's a lot more people this time. This is literally like much bigger room. It was more like that half of the room was the, the one in Austin. So we've definitely grown in this way as well. Who's been, how long, let's, let's start. Um, let's, let's do some more fun, fun activities. So who here has been contributing to OpenTelemetry since, you know, everyone put your hands up. So if you're contributing to OpenTelemetry at all. All right. Who's, who's been contributing for, you know, who's, bleh. Was this your first year, like 2024, did you start? Wait, I think I'm doing this wrong because I'm trying. <laughs> Have you been contributing to OpenTelemetry for more than five years? Okay. No, it's not. It was founded in 2019. Five years ago. And the, fir and the first discussions happened in the summer of 2019. Um, okay, four years. Who's been doing for four years? All right, so that's pretty good. Three years. Three years, two, one. All right, so again. Good growth, we're bringing new people in, that's great to see. And I can say, you know, as someone that has been a part of this community since the jump, we would not be here without you all and without your contributions. Um, it's honestly remarkable to think about, you know, Ted, Ted Young I don't think is in the room right now, but I remember when we were talking about this project, you know, in 2019, we were, just like, oh, this is going to be this cool little thing that'll just kind of like solve this one problem with the open tracing and open census people sniping each other on Twitter. And it's turned into, you know, the second largest project in the CNCF and one of the largest open source projects in the world on GitHub, right? We're actually a top 10 um, by contributions. Oh, there's Ted. Hi. 
top 10 project by contributions on GitHub, you know, up there with like Linux, Home Assistant, um, various crypto things. So we've had just remarkable growth. And I think that that it goes to show that open telemetry serves a need for people, right? This isn't just something we're all sitting around and doing because, you know, it's fun. I mean, it is fun, but we're actually solving real problems and, and filling this real need in the open source community for vendor agnostic universal telemetry standards. So I'm, I'm so proud of everything we've done together and I'm so excited to see what the next um, four or five, you know, next five years of open telemetry brings. So where are we in terms of the project this year? Um, we, we do a lot these days. You know, long, long past are the days where we could only really work on one thing at a time. And so I wanna just kinda cover some of the highlights here. The first, and I think probably biggest um, effort we've started, or the biggest project that people are seeing the rewards of is the uh, semantic convention stabilization, right? So for a very long time, um, Semantic conventions being in an unstable state has had a lot of kind of less than great externalities in terms of dependency management, in terms of what people can actually release and mark as stable. So earlier this year, we stabilized HTTP semantic conventions, a thing that everyone loves and agrees went perfectly fine with no hiccups. You forgot your tomatoes to throw at me. Now you know, next time. But it's a learning process and I think um, we're seeing more of these start to ramp up now that we've kind of got one under our belt for things like databases, messaging, system conventions, and our new newest uh, SEMCOM group, AI and LLM, which is really exciting. We've also been doing a lot of work to accelerate the adoption and growth of the open telemetry profiling signal. We announced last year that we were adopting profiling as a new um, signal in the open telemetry data model. And then very recently, the donation of the Elastic EVPF based um, profiler was accepted to the project. So that really helps us kind of leapfrog the momentum of getting profiling spun up and integrated into the ecosystem, which is super exciting. We've made a lot of progress on the events API and data model. Um, who's, who, who here has worked on the events stuff? All right. I'm sure you can all agree that it has been a very, very long and detailed process. But we're, the, the, end is, is the end is in sight, and with the events API and data model, um, that actually unlocks a lot of things in terms of client side, uh, real user monitoring, WebJS, Swift, Android, so on and so forth. So I expect over the next you know, couple years we'll see a lot of cool stuff there. Another big project in process is uh, the collector. Any collector maintainers? Collector contributors, yeah. So you all have been working very diligently towards getting the collector to a stable 1.0 release. Um, and it's going pretty well. I think we're, we're, the end is in sight. Yeah, Tyler, no, eh. <laughs> The, the end is in sight for certain definitions of sight <clears throat> and end. But what's the, with collector stability, again, it's another great sign to the community um, and to the, the larger you know, cloud native community that like, hey, this is here, it's battle tested, it is ready for production use. You know, obviously, thousands and thousands of organizations around the world are using the collector in production. Um, as part of this, you know, we've also been doing stuff around graduation, right, to kind of show the rest of the world that like, hey, we're here, we're stable, we're gonna be here for the long term. Part of that was a uh, independent security audit of you know, open telemetry, various open telemetry components, which has recently concluded. We're going through kind of the, the final stages of that, but that, was, that went really well. And again, that is a testament to you all as contributors for writing secure code, for writing well-designed, well-architected um, software, so thank you. And finally, um, we're starting some new SIGs. As the project continues to expand and grow, you know, we need new things. Um, one of these new SIGs is this idea of project tooling, so giving us a central sustaining engineer, uh, group of sustaining engineering around things like build, CI, CD, publishing, um, various GitHub bots, um, and other sort of useful 
cross-functional tools that don't really sit neatly into any one SIG. We're also kicking off two experience projects, or experience SIGs, excuse me. One will be contributor experience. So as a member of the GC, you know, we get a lot of feedback from our maintainers and approvers and the, everyone about like, what is your biggest issue? And one of the ones we've, we've certainly heard is bringing in more contributors, right? More sustaining contributors, more good quality contributors that can kind of grow and become, you know, approvers and maintainers of their own someday. So the contributor experience SIG will be very focused on how we can improve this sort of contributor pipeline. Um, and finally, the developer experience SIG is going to kind of take this from the opposite side and say, you know, if you're a if you're coming into Otel from the outside and you don't know or care about any of this stuff, like you just want APIs that are functional and efficient and idiomatic and da 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 da, da and you just want to create a dang span. So the developer experience SIG will be looking at um, where we can, as a project, kind of build better affordances around developer experience and shave off some of the rough edges in terms of actually using open telemetry. <coughs> Excuse me. Finally, um, another big thing we've done is we are now part of the cloud native community groups. So this is something that our end user SIG has been working on for quite a while and it's finally kind of happened. So what this means is now when you go to community.cncf.io, there is an open telemetry section and this is where we will be able to talk about upcoming events and let people kind of like create their own event even if they want to start their own open telemetry meetup in your local area, you could do that and get it added to the official open telemetry you know, events calendar. We're also planning to have a European Community Day um, sometime this year, knock on wood. Um, obviously we'll be at KubeCon in Salt Lake City and then in London next year. But really what I'm, I would like to see is people, you know, go back to where you're from and do an observability meetup, right? Do an hotel meetup. We can, we can work, we can support you with, you know, visibility, with, um, I believe there's like a little bit of a, some money available for like pizzas. Um, so for more details, find someone in the end user uh, SIG. And with that, you know, I hope everyone has a great community day. I hope you all enjoy the talks. I hope you get a chance to, you know, see people in person that maybe you've only seen through GitHub issues or PRs. Um, I hope everyone learns something and, and gets some great takeaways. And with that, let's uh, move on to our first speaker.